What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to build Android applications with Python using flat and how to actually turn them into an APK file. So a file that can be run on Android natively. So let us get right into it. All right, so recently I made a video on this channel where I showed you guys how you can easily build GUI applications using flat in Python. And those were platform independent and device independent. So you can just write Python code and you can run the application on the web, you can run it locally, you can run it on Android, on iOS and so on. But those were actually not standalone packages or applications. So there were not APK files or executables for Windows. Those were just running on the web and then you could connect with your phone. Now with the most recent update, we have the possibility to actually build APK files to actually build executables for Windows and so on. Uh, and for this, of course, what we need to do first of all is we need to uh, upgrade flat. So if you have flat installed already, you have to say pip or pip3 install flat dash dash upgrade. Otherwise, just pip install flat if it's the first time you're installing it. Uh, now, in this video today, I don't want to focus too much on flat itself. If you want to know what flat is and how to build an application in general, how to add buttons and stuff like this, watch the previous video. Today, we're going to focus on actually building an application, getting it on our phone, on our Android phone, uh, as an APK file. So make sure you upgrade the package to get the latest functionality. And then what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our working directory. In my case, this is the current directory. And in here now I'm going to just create a simple uh, flat project. So flat create my application. Um, and then what we can do, just as a reminder, we have this main py file, this is our flat application, it's now basically just a simple hello world application, you can of course add buttons and uh, functionality and stuff like this. Uh, but remember, what we can do is we can run this as an application here, we can go to the command line, we can say flat, uh, actually, first of all, I need to go into my application, then I can say flat run or flat run dash dash web to run it in the browser. Um, I can also say flat run dash dash Android, which basically runs it in the browser and lets me connect to it um, through my uh, through my Android application and so on. So we also have Android. Um, but this is of course not the same as building an APK file and getting it onto my phone. Uh, that's of course different. So this is what we're going to do today. Now, again, I'm not going to focus on the code. So this is going to be our application. I'm not going to change anything about it. We're going to go with a simple application. The process is the same. Now, what we need to do first here is we need to install Flutter and we need to install at least on Linux, a couple of other things as well. Now you probably have to install the same things on Mac and on Windows, but probably in different ways. Since I'm running here, uh, or since I'm working here on Linux, I'm going to show the Linux process. But the idea is the same install Flutter and install uh, the tools that I'm using here. So first of all, on Linux on Debian based distributions, you can use snap to install flutter. So sudo apt install or sudo snap install uh, flutter, let me just zoom in a little bit, maybe let me go to uh, let me clear this and let me go to this directory. So I have more space. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say sudo snap install flutter, if you are an enemy of snaps, you can also install flutter in a different way. The important thing is that you have flutter on your system, then you also want to install sudo apt install Android dash SDK and also the SDK manager. Those are basically uh, the Android uh, development kit and the manager for this development kit. That's the basic uh, tool here. And what we need to do now is we need to uh, accept certain licenses. And we need to also run flat in a certain way that downloads and accepts the licenses that are necessary to download and accept. So what you can do in general, uh, once you have the SDK manager installed is you can run SDK manager dash dash licenses. And this is going to show you if you have to accept any licenses, then you can just accept them. I personally had the issue that I had to work around this. So what I had to do was I needed the pseudo privileges. So I needed the root privileges here to actually be able to download the proper licenses and accept them. But also I had to still maintain the neural nine user environment here. So not the root user environment. So what I had to do is actually pseudo dash E, and then SDK manager dash dash licenses. Uh, and then I also installed uh, a certain piece of software or a certain I mean, software a package. Uh, for the SDK 
uh, manually, I, I basically said sudo dash e SDK manager install. And then it was I'm just going to put it here in case you need this NDK 23.1 and then 77796200. Probably in your case, it's going to be a different one if you're watching this in the future. The reason I had to install this was because when I ran the flat pack uh, or the flat build command, flat build APK command, it told me that it was not able to install and accept the license for this year. So I had to install this manually, I had to accept the licenses. And then what I did is I went into my working directory again. So prep dear, go back, go to current, uh, we go to my application. And here now what I do is I run the command flat build APK. Now the problem with flat build APK is in my case, it didn't have the permissions to do anything. So what I had to do actually is I had to do sudo um, sudo dash E flat build APK, but then flat is no longer recognized. So I actually had to figure out where flat is on my system. So which flat was the command, I figured out it's here. And what I basically ran as the final command that actually works is sudo dash E, then the full path. So home neural nine dot local bin flat built APK. And this now basically after you provide the root password is going to generate your APK file from Python, um, or from from the Python script, it's going to use flutter behind the scenes. And it's going to basically give you an APK file, this APK file, you're going to then take and put on Google Drive or use a USB cable or something to get it onto your phone. And then you can uh, allow your phone to install it by default, your phone is going to be very suspicious, it's going to tell you that this is not a secure application, you just have to enable the settings that you allow unknown apps to be installed, then you click on it to say install anyway. And once it's installed, you can basically just use the application. So once this process here is finished, we're going to continue uh, on our phone here. All right, so now the process is finished, you can see success, everything went fine. And what we have now is we have a directory called build inside of that we have a directory called APK. And inside of that we have app dash release dot APK. This is the file you want to get onto your phone, however, you want to do that. In my case, I already downloaded it here from Google Drive. So I uploaded it to Google Drive, I downloaded it to uh, my phone from Google Drive. And then basically, I just navigate to the directory it's in I click on the APK file, I say I want to open it with the package installer. Uh, it asks me if I want to install the application, I click on install, then it tells me unsafe app blocked, I have to go to more details and click on install anyway. Uh, and once this is done, I can open the application and on my phone, you cannot really see that very well, but you can see here it says Hello flat. This is basically the application that I just wrote here in Python, the same thing that I run, or the same thing I see when I run uh, the application on my computer, just that for some reason, it opens now on my second screen. Okay, doesn't matter. But this is how you build APK files with flat, you can do the same thing with Windows, you just have to say flat build Windows, I didn't do that yet. So maybe you have to install some components there. Uh, but this is now a new feature of flat. So just install the necessary packages and then flat build APK. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.